Please Backyard Warbrook in here. I'm David. Thanks to another unboxing, this time on packaging uh, video. Uh, today we have Craig products. All these products I bought personally. There's no paid promotions. This is my personal uh, money that I went out and bought these tools. And uh, today specifically, we're going to concentrate on the Craig Rip Cut. And the Craig AccuCut uh, Circular Saw Guide Track. Alright, so let's start opening. Let's start with the uh, AccuCut. So you don't need a resin blade for this. It's nice. Peel it off. There we go. An easy package to open. How about that? Alright. So first thing out of the package is this solid aluminum tracking. It's uh, very sturdy. So it's two pieces and uh, you can cut up to 48 inches. You're in the manual. Uh, register your product. So I'll go online register this. Always good to do that. So this AccuCut, uh, straight, accurate, splinter-free. So this is a circular, a circular saw sled that you attach your saw to. Got a starting block, starting block. You got set screws and connector bars. The guide strips are already included, and the two tracks. So the uh, connector bars will slide into the arrow part of the uh, track. So I'm going to slide them through here. Halfway. Okay, so those connector bars are secure. So now on the next track, you got to line up the arrows with the arrows on the track that have the connector bars already on there. Slide them right in. And put in these set screws. Alright, so now the tracks are together. Now obviously you don't need to have it this long if your piece that you're cutting isn't this long. You just have to go just a little bit over. Then obviously you will need an extension on it. This is the starting block. And slide these T-slots into one end of the track. You can see it right here. Slide these. Alright, All right, now we're going to set up the sled with my circular saw. Um, let's clear this table here. A uh, video on the Craig uh, pocket hole jig, the K4. Uh, that'll be coming in a little while, maybe next year. So stay tuned for that uh, unboxing video. So, but for right now, I'm gonna put it away. Got this right angle clamp and some screws. So the index and stop is this little rectangular. So I'm gonna remove that. There's a hex nut on the opposite side. Uh, next step is. Loosen the set screws and the base plate clamps. So those are these guys right here. These two screws. Loosen those. Alright. This is my first time, so I'm not sure what side I would put it on. So here's my Six and a quarter inch circular saw from Ryobi, battery operated. So for saws with the blade on the left hand end with the motor, okay, motor, left hand end, center the blade in the left sled slot. For saws with the blade on the right hand end of the motor, center the blade in the right sled slot. 
to accommodate different saw base plate configurations, there are two holes for attaching each base plate clamp to the sled. For the most secure clamping, choose the holes that provide the widest spacing allowed by your saw. The clamps can be oriented at an angle, tightening the set screws onto the saw base plate just enough to hold the saw in place. So it's left hand saw on the motor, left hand side of the base plate slid. Right? does have a little bevel on the edge, so I am keeping this little insert right in there. Everything's tucked in. Alright, not going nowhere. Now we have to align the saw sled with the saw track. All right, so here are the three slots on the sled. These right here, right here, and right here. So those you can align it with these two slots on the track. So I'm going to have it on this side and then adjust the saw. we will cut off just a little bit off of the strip here. I'm going to get the middle into that first slot just like that so there's the uh, bottom strip and the blade right here so when you do the first run you're gonna cut that off and then you'll have a zero clearance when you cut your pieces so I got my digital caliber and I want to the instructions say to align the saw so the blade will shave about 132nd of an inch or 0.8 millimeters off the guide strip. So I put it at 0.8 millimeters and I'm going to inscribe that measurement onto that guide strip. So now I'm going to align the saw blade and the circular saw to cut that all the way across. Alright, so I'm trying to line up the saw blade with that line I scribed. So I'm going to adjust it just a little bit to the left of that line. Alright, so now that's all tightened in there. I'm going to put in the uh, sled indicator clip and the cursor. So the cursor is this. So I'm going to cut part of this guide strip. Okay, now I can adjust the indicator a little bit better. Okay. And then slit indicator. Slide that out on here. And now I need to put in the uh, indexing stop back on. Now I'm going to, now this uh, index and stop is for when you want to remove your circular saw but won't you won't lose your spot of where you had measured it so I'm going to place this one right here make sure that's square and tight up against your saw so there you go I trimmed off the edge guide so it's nice and straight uh, now let's uh, open up the rip cut package is uh, you know the same solid aluminum, and this one uh, cuts up to 24 inches. Structure manual, and another saw slid. Now I already have it set up on this other one, so I should be able to use the same 
This part of the rip cut, it goes on the edge of your piece of wood. So it is reversible. Connect it this way. Or I can flip it around, do it the other way. Just like that. And then you'll set up your uh, saw slit just like I did with the uh, AccuCut. So I'm just going to use this one right here. Uh, this is going to slide into the T slot here. Clamp it down. Lock it in place. I marked it on 15, so from the edge to there would be, yeah, it's a little off, uh, and this says not recommended. So there you have it. So you would mark this on the edge of the piece you're cutting, right there, you can measure, mark it, and then line it up, and then you can cut it right down. All right, so that's it. That's the uh, rib cut and acu cut by Craig. And uh, I want to say, everybody, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And uh, please like and uh, comment on my videos. And until next time, catch you later. videos. There you have it.